The story of Apple begins in 1976, in Los Altos, California. It was here that Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, and Ronald Wayne founded Apple Computer Incorporated. Their mission? To revolutionize personal computing. The first product, the Apple I, was a simple circuit board that lacked a case, keyboard, or monitor. It was hand-built by Wozniak and sold for $666.66. While rudimentary, it marked the start of something big. In 1977, Apple introduced the Apple II. Unlike its predecessor, the Apple II was a complete computer and one of the first highly successful mass-produced microcomputers. It featured color graphics and an open architecture, setting the stage for future developments. The 1980s brought major milestones. In 1980, Apple went public, generating more capital than any IPO since Ford Motor Company in 1956. But the real game-changer came in 1984. Apple launched the Macintosh with the iconic 1984 Super Bowl commercial, directed by Ridley Scott. The Macintosh was the first commercially successful personal computer to feature a graphical user interface and a mouse, making computing more accessible and user-friendly. However, the mid-80s were turbulent. Internal struggles led to the ousting of Steve Jobs in 1985. The company faced challenges without its visionary leader and struggled with a series of less successful products. In 1997, Apple was in dire straits. Sales were plummeting, and bankruptcy loomed. It was then that Steve Jobs returned to the company he co-founded. His return marked a turning point. Jobs streamlined Apple's product line and introduced the iMac in 1998, a colorful and user-friendly computer that became a massive hit. Jobs' vision extended beyond personal computers. In 2001, Apple introduced the iPod, revolutionizing how we listen to music. This was followed by the launch of the iTunes Store in 2003, changing the music industry forever. 2007 was a monumental year. Apple dropped Computer from its name, becoming Apple Incorporated. This change reflected its broader focus on consumer electronics. The same year, Steve Jobs unveiled the iPhone, a groundbreaking device that combined a phone, an iPod, and an internet communicator. The iPhone set new standards for mobile phones, with its touchscreen, app store, and sleek design. It quickly became a cultural phenomenon, making Apple one of the most valuable companies in the world. In 2010, Apple introduced the iPad, once again transforming the tech landscape. This tablet bridged the gap between smartphones and laptops, creating a new category of devices. After Steve Jobs passed away in 2011, Tim Cook took over as CEO. Under his leadership, Apple continued to innovate, introducing products like the Apple Watch, AirPods, and expanding services like Apple Music, Apple TV+, and Apple Pay. Apple's commitment to innovation, design, and user experience remains unwavering. From its beginnings in a garage to its position as a global tech giant, Apple's journey is a testament to the power of vision, creativity, and perseverance. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of Apple Incorporated. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating stories from the world of technology.